<laughs> Isn't it funny? We're both divine dragons, but your hair is different colors. I love it. Why, thank you, Tiki. Your hair is very pretty, too. The green gives you a rather mystical air. Incredible! Hey! Well, hey there! Welcome. I thank you. 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 Do come again.
Hello. Welcome. One moment while I prepare your order. Now to business. This should be simple enough. I've prepared a first-rate meal. It tastes good. Nicely done. Lovely aroma. I prepared a bit extra for you to take with you. No holding back. Come, pray with me. <laughs> Forgive me. My performance was sinful. Somehow, I won. A royal soldier of soul. A royal soldier of Brodia. Come, pray with me. I wasn't strong enough. Crown Princess of Illusia. I'm Lynn. Get ready. Bad. Well fought. I still find it odd to fight alongside a family heirloom. But I'm glad you're here, Lynn. Illusia's royal family has a special place in my heart. I'm happy to lend you my strength.
Saline has arrived. I am Edelgard. Allow me to test your strength. You dare? Cut me down most effectively. My brother was once so sickly, he was confined to his room. But his training built him back up. One of my classmates confined herself as well, albeit for different reasons. She hated training. Please clean it up. I think that spot is clean. That spot needs attention. Thanks again. See you next time. Let's clean this up. How does it look? Oh, it's all shiny now. I'm kinda sleepy. Try over there? I can't watch. No need to hold back. There. Oh, can it be cleaned? Maybe a different spot? That's not helping much. That's not helping much. Maybe a different spot? Maybe a different spot? Maybe a different spot? Already clean? That was fast.
One of the corrupted! The corrupted? Where? Diamond! Help! Uh, thanks for the save, Diamond. Sorry to trouble you like that. No trouble at all. However, I must ask, how did that creature manage to overpower and frighten the Divine One? It came out of nowhere. I just started running. I'm uh, not really good with the Corrupted. Not good with them? You handle them in battle just fine. Well, it's different on the battlefield. I can spot them first, then steal myself before engaging. That last Corrupted soldier got the drop on me. My guard was down. I'm an easy target for them outside of battle. Hmm, I don't follow. Isn't there something that makes your skin crawl, Diamond? I suppose... hairy caterpillars can have that sort of effect on me. Okay, let's say you knew you were about to see a big caterpillar. You'd have a chance to prepare. Now imagine you're eating dinner at home and a caterpillar suddenly drops onto your plate. Hmm... Wouldn't that startle you? Wouldn't you cry out in surprise? I probably would. That's what sneak attacks from the corrupted feel like. Caterpillars dropping on my plate. I understand. Very clear explanation, Divine One. Well, that was a strange example, but I'm glad you followed it. Sorry you had to watch me struggle like that. How <laughs> unflattering. I wish I was flawless like you, Diamond. Flawless? Did you need something from me? No, Divine One. Must I require something to remain near you? No, it's not that. I see. Then please, feel free to ignore me. I would, but... It's difficult to ignore the anger on your face. <sighs> the Kingdom of Illusia worships the Fell Dragon, doesn't it? If that's the case, I can certainly see why you would feel uncomfortable around me. You can't imagine how I feel. Well, if you can explain it, I'd love to understand. It might reduce this distance between us. True, but we should get used to each other first. We'll talk when we're more comfortable. For now, I will leave you be and worship from afar. Worship? Divine one, just the dragon I was hoping to see. I could use a favor. Oh? What kind of favor? I'm hosting a party soon, and I'd like for you to be there. At our church, you're the center of our everything. Our deity. I think your attendance would really raise everyone's spirits. Hmm. Tell me more about this party. What is it going to be like? Oh, nothing formal. Just an occasion to sing, dance, and have a good time. You can blow off some steam and lend an ear to the other guests. Hear their stories. That sounds fun, but... What does my listening to people have to do with anything? Don't you see? It would be incredibly encouraging to everyone. The first time I saw you with my own eyes was like... <laughs> like seeing the light. <laughs> You're coming on a little strong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little intense there, didn't I? Anyway... It's short notice, so there's no need to let me know right away. But I'll tell you, I don't throw so-so parties. If I'm hosting it, you know it'll be a blowout. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Divine One. <sighs> Princess Saline. You're up rather late. Is something the matter? Oh, Prince Alchrist. It's nothing. My sleep was restless tonight, that's all. Ah, uh, did you have a bad dream? I dreamt my brother died. Oh. This is a recurring dream, mind you. One that I have had many times since childhood. My brother used to be chronically ill, you see. But even now... I can't shake the feeling that he might be taken from me at any moment. Oh, Princess Saline. Alfred has recovered since then. Make no mistake. He is the picture of robust health now. 
That he is. He always seems so brave on the battlefield. It's amazing, for what it's worth. I have those same bad dreams myself. Dreams where my brother Diamant is taken from me, that is. Oh, do you now? I do. They're a bit grim, so I've never discussed them with anyone. I see. I should like to hear more about them, if you are willing. But the hour is far too late for that, I think. Another time, Prince Alchrist? Of course. I'm free to talk whenever you need a sympathetic ear. Is someone there? No one? Or a ghost? Please don't be a ghost. Please don't be a ghost. Princess Ivy? Ah! It's okay. You're safe. I promise. Those shadows in the brush are just that. Simple shadows. I was actually jumping at shadows? You're right. Not a ghost to be seen. It isn't like you to misread foliage as an active threat. Is everything okay? Ah, please don't tell anyone about this. It cannot get out that the future ruler of Illusia was frightened by mere shrubbery, or even worse, that the Prince of Brodia had to come to a rescue. Believe me, I understand. I won't say a word. I am in your debt. It seems you've been dealing with this fear for a while. Here, Princess Ivy. I'd like for you to have this. What is it? Some kind of... crystal? It's a gem from one of Brodia's mines. It's said to bring courage to those who need it. Keep it as a good luck charm. Then you won't have anything to be afraid of. Charity from Brodia is not going to do my royal image any favors. Don't think of it as a tether to Brodia. This is just a simple gift from me to you. Uh, <sighs> if it truly makes you uncomfortable, you don't have to keep it. I won't mind. Farewell. Thank you, Prince Diamant. I didn't know such treasures could be found in Brodia. All right, Yunaka. I'll listen to what you have to say, but if a single lie slips through your lips... I'll start from the beginning, and I won't lie. The girl in this story isn't named Yunaka. She's called Laramar. She's born to a poor family living in a town on the Brodian Bluffs. Her parents abandon her. She isn't even old enough to understand why. But then a man takes her in. An assassin. Oh? He tells her he wants a little helper. So he trains the girl to kill. To what end? Easy money. So this man foisted his profession onto you? Correct. And that's how you became an assassin. There is tragedy to your tale, but you've earned no sympathy. I'm not asking for sympathy. And I'm not done. Fine. Continue your story. Wait, someone's coming. Is that a problem? We'll have to finish this another time. Very well. Sorry, but I'm here to wake you. Is it even okay for me to be here? Either way, I can't just abandon wake-up duty. Excuse me, Divine One. Good morning. Are you annoyed that I woke you up? I'm sorry. I'll leave right away, on the double.
Thank you. Now, about the boutique. Thank you. Thank you. Be well. I'll be here. 